cut Europe's population by up to 60%. Now genetic analysis of skeletons in London has pinpointed the cause and holds out the worrying prospect it could return. Asha Tanner has this report. The great in East London lies a deep legacy of death. The mass graves of those who died of the Black Death may hold the key to what caused this pandemic. Until now, the plague, which spread from Asia and killed one third of the population in Europe in four years, was thought to have been caused by rats. But now, after genetic analysis of more than 100 remains, scientists say they've discovered a bacterium which could have caused the illness. So if we look at this individual, we're looking at the surfaces here. Here at the Museum of London, one curator says without the advancement of DNA testing, the discovery by scientists would not have been possible because this type of bacterium can't be seen on skeletons with the naked eye. They thought that it was a Yersinia pestis, which is a bacterium which causes either bubonic, pneumonic or septicemic. But I think it was the rapidity with which it spread um, from one part of the world to the other, the amount of people that it killed, that was the difficulty in pinpointing it. And because it kills people very quickly, we can't see traces on the bone, so it's something then that's sitting within it. The medieval plague which led to the death of these individuals is likely to be extinct, but scientists say there are less virulent outbreaks of this pathogen in certain parts of the world. The Black Death is believed to have spread directly from one person to another, modern plague, which has been recorded in Asia and Russia, is spread by fleas from animals such as rats. Fleas pass the disease on to people through their bite. Although this latest discovery is being hailed as a breakthrough, there are some who are still sceptical. I've still got one small question mark, and that is that I'd really like the same kind of study to be done on a mass grave from 100 years before the Black Death. Because if they found the uh, bacillus, the ancient DNA that they found in this study, in a, a, a cemetery a hundred years earlier and in a large number of, of skeletons then the hunt would be on again for the killer. The church played a key role in the aftermath of the pandemic. It was believed a proper burial would ensure souls would be saved. Those who died of the Black Death were not flung into mass graves. They were in fact laid out and buried in trenches like those found in other medieval churchyards. Modern plague is unlikely to see a repeat of the 14th century pandemic thanks to improved health care. But with further testing of these remains, scientists hope to be prepared should it start re-emerging.